Hello everyone! In this video tutorial we explain how to properly install FFmpeg in a Windows operating system and how to use this powerful tool from a command line. For those of you who are not familiar with FFmpeg, this is a very powerful tool for manipulating, converting, decoding, encoding audio and video files. For example, I'm using FFmpeg in one of my machine learning projects to extract frames from a video and to do reverse, that is to combine frames in a single video. And this is just one example, there are thousands of examples of using FFmpeg. Okay, so let's start. First of all, you need to go to this web page, here is the link. This is very important. And then you need to basically click here on downloads. Then you need to click on the windows and over here I tested this option that is this will lead you actually to another web page. So if you click over here you will get these files. You have to choose the appropriate file. I am choosing this file over here FFN Master Latest Windows 64 GPL. This is because I have 64-bit Windows version and GPL is the famous license and you can read more about this license. It is very important for you to properly understand what is a GPL license. GPL license stands for, as you can see over here, for the general public license and it's a free copyleft license for software and other kinds of works. And over here you can see, for example, from the GNU page, the GPL is a free software license and therefore it permits people to use and even re redistribute the software without being required to pay anyone a fee for doing so. Okay, this is very important to understand. Now, if you click here, you're going to download this file and we will go from there. In my case, this file will be actually in the downloads folder. So here it is. So let me just expand this folder. Then I will double click over here. And you will see that the file is over here. Now go back to the downloads, do the right click, and you can extract all and extract the complete thing. Next, let's copy this file, do the right click and copy or press Ctrl C. Next, let's go to our C drive and over here I will create a new folder. And I will call the folder FFmpeg. And you can call the folder as you wish. Now I will go to this folder and I will simply paste the complete thing. The next step is actually to add the corresponding folder to our path and this is very important. So let's learn how to do that. Next, we need to add one of the subfolders of FFmpeg to the Windows path so we can run FFmpeg from command prompt. So let's learn how to do that. Double click on this folder, then double click again, double click again, and over here you have two options. The executable files are actually in this folder called bin and bin is a short for binary. Okay, so click over here and select this complete path, do Control c to copy this path, or you can simply do this, then click over here and search. Environment variables, if you search this, you will get this option, so click over here to open it up. Next, click on environment variables, and over here click on path. Then click on edit path, and over here you need to add a new path, click on new, then simply paste this part over here and click OK. Then click OK again, click OK. Good. Next, let's test if we can execute this file from command line. So click over here and search for terminal. Here it is, or command prompt as you wish. Now in this terminal window, try to run ffmpeg and let's see let me see, I didn't spell FFM, PEG. Okay, so let's see, good, perfect, awesome. So we can run this file, however, we didn't provide any arguments over here, so we don't see anything over here, good. Let's test the installation by running a small demo. Over here, to test the installation and to test if I can successfully run FFmpeg from command line, I created a small video. This is basically a video of a coyote that lives near my community 
and as you can see he freely walks i see him almost every day now what i will do i will take this video and i will extract basically frames from this video and for that purpose i will use ffmpeg so let's learn how to do that in your case, since you will not have this video, take some video of yourself or, for example, film something with the camera, save the video as MP4 format and continue and perform all the steps that I'm performing. First of all, I will copy this file. Then I will go to my C drive and then I will open a new file, a new folder, actually, and I will call it test one. OK, and then I will go to this test one. And over here, I will paste this file. OK, next, I will go to command line like this or to command prompt. Then I will go to my test folder and I will see my file over here. Perfect. Let's now run mmpeg. So go to the command prompt and type this command. And let's explain this command. First of all, we call ffmpeg by simply writing ffmpeg. Then, if I want to convert my video to its frames, that is, if I want to extract a video that actually frames for my video, I need to enter this option. Then, I need to enter the name of my video. Then, over here, I need to specify the quality. Quality 2 means relatively good quality. Then, I specify the start number of my extracted image file. The image file will start from 0. And then over here, I have this C style denotation for numbering the files. And over here, I have the extension. The extension is JPG. This is the image extension. So let's run this command and let's see what happens. So here it is. So we are extracting. We can see frames and let's see our files. Okay, here are our files. There are a lot of files. Now, let's verify these files by just simply going back over here and let's see what we, what we got. So if we go now to test one, here are the files. So I have around 340 files over here. So if I click on my first file, here it is. If I click on, for example, on 14, here it is, etc. Another interesting thing that you can analyze is the output actually of FFmpeg. So you can see what happens. Uh, input, this is pretty much standard. Here is duration. This is the start. This is the beat rate. All the important information is done over here. You can see that the video is 30 frames per second. This is also another important thing. So if you now see that the video length is around, let's see where it is, around 11 seconds, and you have 30 frames per second, you expect that you will see more than basically uh, 300, uh, around 340 or something videos, right? Frames, better to say. However, we probably got a little bit more. Let me see back over here what's happening, how many of them we have. No, we have exactly that thing. So we exactly extracted with 30 frames per second. And if we multiply 30 frames per second with approximately 11 point something, we will actually get this. This means that FFmpeg works perfectly and you can use it in your other projects. But before I end this video tutorial, I need to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this completely free video tutorial as well as almost more than 600 free video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel. YouTube channel and consequently I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Your support really means a lot. Thank you very much and have a nice day.